Welcome back family and friends. I got a quick video of another quickie, cheapy, geeky spree. Halloween edition. So I got some things gathered up. This is my trick-or-treat mug. Love this little thing. Been using it for years. I always pull it around around the Halloween time. Got my little pumpkin spice java in there to start my day. Alrighty, this is some uh, items I come across. Just look at this thing here. It is a crazy eye candy bowl. Yep, you put your hand in, it's animated, and it does all kinds of crazy sounds. And I think it has reach in for a treat, see that crazy eye spin, five fun sayings and sound effects. Eyes light up, and it's motion activated. All right. I already got out of the box. It requires a couple of A batteries. And there you go. It's old Frankenstein's monster bowl. And he is animated when you put your hand in there. So so here you go. I got it on demo mode. So turn them on. It's a fun little piece here. I thought it was fun. Put some candy in there for the kids. And uh, he's, he's, unfortunately, all his mechanisms don't quite work. But I got his eyes to work. Go ahead. Take a new pull. I took an eye pull. I got his eyes to work. And, because they didn't work when I got it. And my mama gave me this. And she got it from her employment and for nothing, like a couple of bucks on clearance. This is stuff from last year's Halloween clearance sale, if I didn't clarify that. But I wanted to save it and show it here for, you for Halloween this year. All his mechanisms don't quite work. He's got a, a bogey here. A bogey. Yeah, that, that's supposed to go up and down. So you can get it to stay up in there. And then when you set him off again, it's got a demo button right here. It'll pop out. <laughs> Do we have plenty of candy? I've lost my glasses. <laughs> and I think, like I said, his little bogey is supposed to go back up in his nose and stay there, but it, it won't stay. Every now and then I can get it to stay in there, and then it'll pop back down. Yes, I'm picking his nose. Got some bogeys with your candy, kids. But that was fun. My mama gave me that. She also gave me the, all these other pieces, and that's why this is a quickie, quickie, cheapy, geeky spree, everybody. Didn't cost me anything. But this guy, this one's fun, too. This is your animated, yes, animated Bump and Go Ghost. I love the boxes here. Cracker Barrel has some of the greatest Halloween decorations. And this was just, we put some, bump, let me get the ghost out instead of just ramble. But I already got him out. Here he is. And uh, it's just like a little sheet on a little ball that lights up. It's got a little ghost face. It's got some wheels on the bottom that turn around. And, you know, it goes around the floor and he bumps into stuff and he keeps on going and he bumps all the way. And it's got two settings on here. You got loud, loud sound effects and then you got a, you know, the volume control basically so it's not so loud and the little mechanism goes around it gets louder Y'all can't really see the light, but it strobes, strobes, it changes from green to red. And I'll show, insert a little video of him bumping around the house and just roaming around doing his little ghostly thing, haunting us. Right here. Watch him bump. Watch him go. He's motion activated. So...
so that's the animated bump and go ghost which was really fun I got one more item here that I want to show you guys and this is my favorite and Sarah doesn't like it because she doesn't like zombies but this is your animated walking zombie look at that little guy man he's just I love the, the cartoon nature of him give you a good look at this bots Heads and arms fall off. I didn't even know that when I turned it on. I didn't read the bots like a dummy. Creepy sound effects, light up eyes and brain. You put four AA batteries in his feet, and he kind of just staggers through the house. And I'll show them to you right here. Give me a second. I got to go get him. Here he is. Look at this little guy. He's got a nice little brain there that lights up. And I'm going to save all his animated features for the little clip I'm going to splice in. Y'all can watch him walking, doing his thing. I love this little guy. Great little arms. You can pose them anywhere you like. Up, down. They go up and down. Walking zombie. Don't look by the head or arms. <laughs> but I saw this in the store and I was like that is cool mom and then it, it was on clearance after it only cost a couple bucks at, at the end of year clearance last year so let's I'm gonna put a clip of him walking and I hope y'all enjoy my quickie geeky, cheapy geeky spree and this little guy Sarah's like he's just not allowed in the living room she says a thing against zombies she doesn't like them also look at this little Frankenstein plus I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram or Facebook, but it's sweet. And every time I do that, there's Toby, our cat. Toby, he comes running. And you can get these at PetSmart this year. They're little ha Halloween-themed cat toys and dog toys. So it squeaks. Every time he hears that, he comes running and he attacks this little sucker. Go get it. <laughs> Alrighty, time for some zombie action. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Please, I thought this was fun stuff. What do you think? Enjoy. All right, here's the walking zombie. I got him set over, up over there. He's got a button on his bow tie. I'm going to push it, and you're going to see what happens. His eyes light up. His brain lights up on the top, and he's going to come and get you, everybody. They're coming to get you, Barbara. walking zombie and it depends on which way you stick his parts back on like if you stick the arms on first you just plug them back in you stick this other arm back on and then you put his head on it depends on what order of the way you snap on his parts is how they fall off next so it should fall off arm, arm, head, but if you want his head to fall off first, you just snap it back on first. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 